it seems that my BGM's super loud. Lowers it much. That's better. Uh, yes. Um, not right now, because the desktop audio is still muted. Yes. I am, yeah, you will prefer to me as Arcane, preferably. Okay. I'm previewing my own stream to see if the audio is better one way or another. No. Yeah, that's, that's really gonna have a lag, it's normal. Yeah, now the now I can't hear my BGM at all. Let me lower it to this level. Oh, actually, wait, let me also explain. Hello and welcome to my stream. <laughs> I'm like I'm just like live fixing I'm obviously like I'm I'm very transparent about how scuff I am as a person. Mm -hmm. Hello and welcome to my stream. Thank you for if anyone's here for some reason at like at this point. Anyway, I'm just I'm just here to do Patreon drawings anyway. And I only have two, which is Samsara and 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 shit. Let me let me check what <laughs> their name is on Patreon. I don't wanna like make anything public in a weird way. It's fine, you don't have to, like, lovely lurker. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, the username on Patreon. Patreon. I will ask them when they enter the chat how they would like me to refer to them online, although probably the usual name is fine. But, you know, just checking. Hi. Lumi. Okay, got it. Like, if anyone's wondering, I'm not talking to the voices in my head. I I still have this sword on mute and I'm talking to people already in the room. <laughs> if people are in the stream and they just like hear one-sided talking. <laughs> I will put it on public when I have stuff ready. I need to fix my mic. For real, for real. My mic's so scuff. But that's fine. I've lowered it so that it's not too loud. Okay. I think that's good. You can curse. Curse as much as you want. I'm not- I'm not a PG-13 streamer in any <laughs> way, shape, or form. No, that's fair. Boundaries are good, but I- uh, that one is not one of my boundaries. I don't care. Please, please curse all you want. Please. Okay, I have unmuted. And now I will- wait. <laughs> I was like, I was about to start and then I was like, wait, no, I gotta close these other windows because it's just gonna add to my RAM and it'll die. Closes. 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 I'm not gonna be VTubing this week because I have so much to do. If I do, it's gonna be a gorilla stream of just me playing Star Rail or something. That much I get. for this? For like... No! I stream all on you YouTube. YouTube. I'm just YouTubing. Okay. Okay! Hello! Uh, this is like the fifth time I've started, but that's fine. Hello, anyone who is still here right now, who is already here, not still here, anyone who is already here, thank you for coming to my Patreon stream that I will do once a month, and for for 
your monthly donations, I will draw live for you. Thank you. That's pretty much all I have to say anyway. <laughs> hey, shit. Okay, there. I will... Who... Hmm. Who am I making art for? Launch. Uh, uh. Why can't I... Uh. Sometimes my right click doesn't seem to work very well. Maybe it's time I changed mouse. Yeah, it might be time for that. I told yeah. you to get a new mouse. Yeah, I'm sorry. 2023. Ah, 2023. Uh, May. I can. I'll get you a new mouse. No. You need a new mouse, and you're gonna tell me I cannot right click. How's your uh, blush print? Rip. I will probably be working on it live right now <laughs> right. because I only have okay. I only because I only have two two uh two things to make and that is I'm well technically three which are two five minute doodles and then one one drawing for like 15 to 30 minutes for the lovely patron who has donated me more than Thirty dollars, but like if they're working and they don't go online, then I'll just have to work on it off stream. So I'll just be working on. Is uh your patron the the one from Down Under? Yes. All right. I already told them, and they did say that they would make it because they said they're already in the Philippines. So. Yeah, that's a, oh yeah, that's a thing. I forgot. I was, I, you I mean forgot. time zone? Was the, <laughs> yeah. I no, I forgot that she was gonna come here. Oh, yeah, yeah, she is. So I was like, yeah, hey. Hey. <laughs> Are we still muted on the stream? I no, 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 you're you're already on the stream. But, like, it's fine. That's why... Oh, you can't? Let me fix that. Maybe... No, it's okay. I oh, no, no. Because... You ha yeah, your levels are going up, so you should be able to hear yourself. But there is a delay, so maybe you can't hear yourself yet. Yeah, I can vaguely hear myself. Primarily you. I guess I'm just not focusing. Oh, maybe, maybe, oh, let me fix the levels. Oh, it's cool, it's cool. I have, okay, I think the levels are better now. Might be because my, my mic is like so loud. I'm trying to lower it so I'm not so annoyingly loud. I will fix my mic eventually. No, it's because uh, my Discord is always on my headset, but everything else is connected to my speakers. So that if ever um... I'm on call, but I'm still playing games, um, yeah, whoever I'm calling with no priority. Soka, soka. Well, based on the the levels that I see, it seems like I'm like exponentially louder than everyone, so that's why I'm fixing it also. Sample, please speak. Both of you. Say anything. I just need to look at the levels. Hello. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Hola. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, that's that's a reasonable level. I will lower myself instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, trying to make sure everything's in the folder, and then I will make art here. Okay. So, for the 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 plan is that since the two patrons who were well, one only one of them is here right now, which is Samsara. Samsara is one of my was my first patron. Thank you. And Bro, it was a dollar. It's still. I mean, it's still. I mean, you because you, as I said, everyone who signed up for my launch month will get a free doodle. So here, <laughs> what would you like me to draw? It'll like take me five minutes. What do you want? <laughs> uh, oh, somebody by the way is on the chat. Oh, what? Why don't I see them? Oh, because uh, the window is minimized. My bad. My new avatar? No. Also, hello. Hello. I don't know if I'm a... I'll call you Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know if that's like... Is that like how it's spelled in your Twitter? Let me check for a second. <laughs> but like, this is not my avatar. This is a free Omori-based avatar. And I was just like, I'll use it for when I do art streams for my Patreon. <laughs> because it's cheaper. You know, well, I mean, like, it's not even just cheap. It's free. It's literally free. It's so cute, right? You know, I should be... Okay. Uh, note to self. I'm gonna pin this. Note, note to self. Add to stream description. Free avatar. Uh, uh, free. Uh, 
2D model. Live 2D model. Add a link. Live 2D model artist. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm no. I know. I'm very overcoded, as you mentioned. <laughs> but no, I haven't played. But yes, I just. I mean, I just like the aesthetic, so it works so well. <laughs> it's really a no water based uh, avatar. <laughs> I'm gonna pin my own message so that I finally do it because I keep forgetting. <laughs> this is only my second Patreon stream ever. I'm allowed to still be finding my way through. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, Samsara. So Samsara, what would you like me to draw? For free! For free! Five minutes. What is easy to draw? <laughs> You're like, it's a fuck, uh, Christ! <laughs> no! Um, I've been thinking about this and I'm like, what is... It takes me five minutes to decide. <laughs> I mean, like, it's fine, even if you take a while to decide. Like, if you want, I'll go back to you later and for now I'll work on my... My print. And you know what, for you to move on easily, I think... You can do. Um... Well, I have to talk to my mother. Okay. Do so sorry. His banner Ocha? update tomorrow. Oh yeah. shit! Let me give me let me get a reference <laughs> for a second. I have not seen a long haired draw a long haired man in forever. I mean, it's just. Which does not count. Long, it's just long hair. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that. I, you know, it's like that's not. That's not the problem. <laughs> it's not honestly like of all the things on Luocha, it's not his long hair that's a problem. It's damn clothes. Come on, Honkai. You really gotta make it complicated for all of us. No, it's fine. You you make beautiful things. <laughs> I won't complain. <laughs> I'm trying to find a oh, decent no, reference, but like trying to make it the most difficult for cosplayers, but they still do it anyway. Are they? I don't feel like they're making it particularly difficult, to be honest. I mean, well, you should see how many pieces come together in a Genshin cosplay. Well, I mean, that's fair. I just mean, like, I feel like they it is on the average scale of difficult to cosplay. Because, like, I feel like people who make good costumes will just, like, put all the pieces together. But people who custom build their own costumes might find it difficult, yes. You know. You should see the pieces in Taobao. All of them have 20 plus pieces. Alright, I finally found a Even decent reference. If it's not gotcha. uh, NPO, you will really have everything separately made by other craftsmen, or you just order everything online. Okay. Is as then I will and start. That seems to be the only thing that that's like putting together Genshin cosplays. Like, where does this piece go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I do think that it's, uh, to be fair, okay, like, I guess what I'm thinking is that in terms of wearables, because, like, I find that when you say hard to cosplay, I think of, like, mechs. I think of mechs, I think of things with horns and wings and tails, like, here is just, like, it's, it's hard because you have a lot of stuff to make sure that you vet the quality and you fasten them on right, but that's about it, which isn't yeah, so bad. We're old have a lot of time for that anymore. Yeah, so like in, in the difficulty scale, I would say that, that Hoyoverse costumes are usually in about a, probably a 5, maybe a 6. But like the things that you might have difficulty with, like for example, uh, say if you were Hersh or Alicia, that would be already an 8. <laughs> like, <laughs> suddenly, suddenly it's like really annoying. So I just mean on an average uh, scale. Depends on like looking at our country. No thank you on putting on uh two layers of clothing is hot enough. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, that's fair. That is fair, that is fair. I will imagine that. Oops. Okay. I am going to draw this man. And I can already hear Akira <laughs> He's just using his normal voice for real. Yeah, honestly. I feel like he's just used to it by now. 
I, I, but to be fair, he has been, if you think about it, he's been playing auto for ages. Like, it, people, people, if, people might forget because there is, there, they, they mostly know him only from, you know, Star Rail, people who haven't been around for Hongkai. But like, that's bit, that's over a decade of using this man's voice already. Right. Good for him, honestly. Good for him. Well, I mean, you also have Ayat. I, oh yeah, shit. Okay, people who are okay, people who have been thinking is like, oh, you know, he's so good with the Hoyaverse because he's been here since Ayata, and they're like, no, even longer. It's been over a decade now, and they're like, what? <laughs> and That's now what you call loyalty, dedication. I mean, for real. I think what like I think for me the the ones who have really been here forever though are um the academia yeah <laughs> uh, i'm thinking uh the 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 main three cast the uh, um because i know that they had sawashiro miyuki already in even in guns girl z right and also rie but like the thing is that they had few voice lines in guns girl z and they had alternate voices too right but like when they had when they had Akira Ishida, he's just been there the whole time. Same with Ano Yai Sakura, who didn't have an alternate voice. So it's just the OT three probably that are really you can say they are Hoyaverse veterans. Do you think this is brocade? I'm sorry, I'm just like looking at his shirt and I'm like, it looks like brocade to me. I'm alive. Hello alive. I'm drawing the watcha. Oh my god, I just realized how fast is five it, minutes is. Is it okay. Genshin character? No, it's a Star Rail character. But anyway, since I have been drawing him for like four minutes now, I will speed this up and draw his face because that's all <laughs> we need anyway. I, I get a little carried away. Well, I said five minutes, but I didn't like, I'm not strict, like a five minute stop. I, I'll just like. Not would just like to dance and a smile face. <laughs> no, he deserves more, even if he's an auto face. As much as I'm not an auto apologist, I do appreciate him as a character. <laughs> like I will, I, I will just say that I, like some people will defend his wrongs, and I'm like, that's fine, just as long as you know that they're his wrongs. <laughs> as he committed many crimes. Only in his, in another universe as a different character, but like you know how. Like how in Genshin, Yai Miko looks a lot like Yai Sakura. It's kind of like that. Like obviously it's not the same character, but it's a pattern from the from Hoyoverse. Oh, so, but, so who's he from from Hoyoverse? This one is uh, Locha is basically Otto, who is the main villain of Honkai Impact. Oh. In Star Rail, but he's not that in Star Rail. I don't yeah, know. in Star Rail he just seems to be some wandering merchant and everyone's like what's what ooh, who is he and we're all like we all know who he is <laughs> i don't know what his character is like i like i i've met him in story and star rail already but like all he does is like, all he does is like, he's just there and he's like oh hello people i'm transferring this coffin for a friend <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> And I'm like, I have no idea what you're doing, sir, but I don't trust you. Anyway, <laughs> I don't trust you because of a different life that you lived. But like, you yourself have done nothing wrong. It's just me. I'm so lazy to draw the other eye. No, it looks ugly. Okay, let me fix that. Mirror? Cheat. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna cheat it, but like, also it looks fugly, so no, I will not cheat it. I will properly draw it then. Fine. Oh, it's already been five. I guess I'll change it. You know what? Saying that I can draw something in five minutes is a lie. I'll draw it in ten from now on. But like, at least it's not like ugly. Maybe like for five minutes, a bit of cheap TV style or something. Yeah, I should be. But like, anyway, actually, I say that next time. But like, there is no next time. This was a this was a pre like this was a thing that you got if you signed up for the first month that I launched my Patreon, which will not be happening again <laughs> because I already launched it. So I guess it's fine. It just means that I, I now know I, I can't draw things in five minutes. 
I end up taking too long because I, I want it to look decent. <laughs> that's fair, that's... Yeah, it's okay. Like, I'm not strict with myself, as long as I don't... Um, the point is I don't want to take like 30 minutes on these things because it was just... It was a little gift to people oh. who joined. So, anyway. So here is this man. <laughs> His banner is out tomorrow, I think. Thank you for... Yes. I I should give this to... Niwa. <laughs> yes. I'll be like, here you go. Someone ordered yes. a Luocha on stream, so... Have him. <laughs> Have him. <laughs> I just mean like I'm so lazy to draw his shirt. This is fine. I I drew it. I've I've been drawing it too long, sir. That's enough. That's enough of you. But it doesn't look like him because it's not blonde. I need to make him at least blonde. It looks like a nineties anime villain. Yeah, because it's like white. <laughs> <laughs> It's Thanks. the long hair. It's the you long know, hair. Honestly, like, what was with the 90s and criminalizing long hair? Hmm? Hmm? Oh well. Because you are gonna demonize the people. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, you're male and you have long hair? Something must be wrong. Because with you. they, uh, having, <laughs> you're a delinquent. Yeah, a delinquent. Having really good long hair is a crime. Yeah. Like, if you have short hair as a girl, that's also correct. Yeah, that's exactly. true. Mm -hmm. the, the gender norms, it makes you seem like such a rebel if you're not like adhering to them, you know? To be fair, a lot of the <laughs> 90s movies, if you were the rebel, you did have long hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like if you were a female rebel, you had short hair. Surprise. Thank you, uh, societal norms in the 90s. To be fair though, like, now, what the, the other side of that is as a result, we have a lot of, like, really aesthetic re rebels from that era. <laughs> it just look, looked fair. amazing. <laughs> so it's like, okay, yeah, like, genuinely, thank you, because now all the badasses are so stylish. <laughs> all the baddies. <laughs> oh, baddies. All the baddies slay. Okay, we have here, uh, what, what, what? <laughs> How do you pronounce Lord his name, supposedly? Lorcha. Lord, 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 Anyway, give you your auto green eye. <laughs> auto green. <laughs> that sounds sassy. I mean, that's what he is. Just like looking at him, hearing Ahiro Ishida's voice, he's just a sassy man. Just a sussy, sussy man. Anyway. Okay, I will start working on my merch. And if by after like half an hour the other patron isn't here yet, then I will just end stream and like draw the promised art for them off stream. That will just have to get it. Yeah, thank you for coming by. That's really cute. I actually kind of like the result of that, and I, I was just like, blah, 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 blah. "That's cute." After my short course, my preceptorship, I'm willing to do it again for more for the others for the other elements. Which one? What do you mean? The keychain. Oh yay! Thank you. Yay! Oh, After lovely lurker joined the Discord. What are you doing there? Why are you just in the chat? Or are you unavailable to be on call? Like, let us know. But, like, what do you want me to draw? Yours is the next merch I Thank you for your donation. I will not make public how much you donate, but, like, thank you for it. A bajillion dollars. I mean, like, if the- bajillion dollars! If they gave a bajillion dollars, I'll dedicate the whole ass stream to drawing something for them. Like, what the hell? The, the net <laughs> worth of the, the US economy. Like, Jesus, no. I, uh, no, I'm doing, well, yeah, I was making keychains, but, like, on this stream, I'm gonna be working on prints. But, uh, first, I need to draw what I promised you, my patron, so tell me what you would want. Oh, your mom is watching, so cool. But still, you know, I mean, 
<laughs> I'll still make. I'll still draw for you, even if you're not in the stream right now. So just let me know what you want me to draw. No, no, no. I will stop shading. I'm just doing that idly now. Anyway, I you get two requests from me. Um. So, since Here. lovely lurker was one of my my second patron, and they. We're both here for the launch month, and the, they did donate at uh, Tomodachi tier, which is above thirty dollars. Then they get they get two things. You want a Nezuko chan? <laughs> you get two drawings. So, uh, which one do you want to be like the the quick doodle, and which one do you want to be like a, a somewhat nicer doodle? Because <laughs> one is like five. 10 minutes and then the other one's like 15 to 30. I have a random story about Nezuko. We had like this activity at school where you know the kids dress up and whatnot and gets the best costume, gets a, a commission drawing from my sister. Oh! And this little girl who won, she had her entire costume along with her hair done, everything. She, she was just, she was Nezuko. Maybe but so what cute. she asked for was <laughs> was Anya. Oh. <laughs> can I please have Anya? I can already hear it with a small voice in my head. Exactly, that's how she just wanted. She's like, can I have Anya? And you're like, okay. I'm like, of course yes. you can. And this kid a... who won third place straight up just went, I want Raiden Shogun. <laughs> <laughs> Like said, with all the power, all the yes. all the thirst <laughs> that a young exactly. child can muster. <laughs> exactly. Please. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, good for them, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just like looking for references of Nezuko Chan. Nezuko Chan. Oh, you know, I have. Maybe I should reprint them, but I know I I had. I have old, um, what's it? There's a word. I have old, uh, stickers from Himetsu. I should, like, reprint them, maybe. Why not? You do? Yeah, I have some designs. Like, let me see if I can find them. Well, I'll look for them later. I had, like, some yeah. Kimetsu ones. They were cute. Like, one was a tiny Nezuko peeking out of a zipper. Tanjiro had a... One that I had, it was like a chibi face of Tanjiro, and then there was a big sign on his forehead which said "caution hard surface." <laughs> oh, right, that was I remember. Yeah, and then the scream uh, Zenitsu, and then now uh, Fua Fua uh, Inosuke. <laughs> I don't think I've seen these. They're fairly old. Like I mean, I stopped I stopped doing tables way before pandemic even hit. So ah, uh, that's fair. Who is peak stressed? Dark lustful Renner? Who is that? I mean, I watched Overlord, but I don't remember who that is. Oh my God! <laughs> when you search Dark lustful Renner, you get Jeremy oh Renner. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> oh Lord. Renner from Overlord is kind of like. Oh, also, also she's so cute. Weird. No. No, no I that. mean like I I don't like, I don't mean it like cute in the sense that I like like she looks messed up but like face cute. <laughs> yeah, she's got a cute face though. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Like I immediately know that she's Yander from the pictures she has, but she do have a cute face. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, you say peak Yandere, but like, that that's happened to me before. I'll be like, oh, so cute, and then I play the story under Yan and I cry. <laughs> What's your new? Meet, your Yandere regator is broken. You're just like, ah, oh, no, this one's nice, and then like, oh shit, wait, wait a minute. Yes, I'm yeah, always like wrong. Yes, you was Kim Yo Song, how could you do this? But like, I love him. Listen, I can fix him. <laughs> I can't believe it came from you. Give me out. No, I just, yeah. I wanted to say it. I had to say it. I mean, like, honestly, all of Mystic Messenger is just, <laughs> I can fix him mentality, isn't it? I'm just saying. That's fair. Damn. 
I mean, like, all of the lane from Mystic Messenger. There are a lot of Automate games with, like, a lot of Yandere, though. Like, oh, give me a second, give me a second. Wait, 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 wait. Alright. Here, I'll sign it, but, like, speak not because I am live streaming. <laughs> No, no, I, I will be done like in an hour or two, so let me... My father came in and he, he needs me to do something for a sec. Conquer the world. No. Oh, Dad! What? <sighs> Shit. It's fine, but I'll have to wipe that. What happened? With, uh, a glass fell. But I mean, like, it tipped over, to be specific, and nothing broke. Okay. I I just have to pause the stream in a bit to wipe the mess. But in a bit for now. Is your dad here? Yeah, my dad's here. Like right next to me. Uh I can't say who you are, but <laughs> someone you know says hi, Tito. <laughs> my coffee. <laughs> the thing that spilled was my coffee. Sad face. Oh, you drink coffee now? What do you mean I drink coffee now? I've been drinking coffee. I... No, to be fair, last I remember you didn't like. <clears throat> the, you like sweet coffee, not bitter and, coffee. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I still prefer a sort of sweet coffee, but I like Kuri coffee the most. And that's what I make. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I would love to draw this, but... Yeah, Dad San Cameo. Hello, Maki. Uh, give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna wipe the floor. <laughs> Be her piece. You Actually, you will just see me, like... You can still hear me, but I can't hear you because I'm gonna be wiping the floor. It's okay. Oh no! Oh, it smells like coffee. Oh no. Something wrong. Stitch. It smells amazing. Oh, I gotta wipe off this. Oh, I gotta throw this. So, how are you? <laughs> Just if oh, you no. are wondering, oh, no. I am just no. playing IDV on the side. Uh. Are you dying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yes, I what, did. What, what's so up? people what's don't know how to, I don't know, decode. <laughs> uh. I'm piloting a friend's account just so I can get stuff uh, for the event. It's easy enough, just play enough games, but it's making it, other people are making it so just hard to play. That already. Like, come on guys, just stick forward. Answered, lovely lurker on the chat, but 
We're just hanging out. As far as I know. Embroidery. Samsara's outside. I am outside your window. That's fair. I also like the lurk. I can like vaguely hear you guys are talking, but I have no idea what you're saying. So if you talk shit about me, I wouldn't know. Poopy. But it will be on stream. Ack, poopy. I, I can't find out later. <laughs> if I watch the VOD, which I barely do, so. Ark is, 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 uh, uh, I don't know how to talk shit, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Also random, my, Everything's my, ear, my right ear and my earphone is Fill broken, all that's where the table. mic is, but I'm just glad the mic is working well. So... I'm going to dinner soon. Oh! Cause... Uh, grab... Cancelled our... Cancelled our order Can without telling them? us. Without notifying us. So. That happened. Like, Rest. I've been what waiting... And voila. That's kind of annoying. Like, if you're just gonna cancel the order, at least tell na par, at least like have a note of like, oh, we're canceling it. Is it just like, yes, oh. And as far as I, I know, they cannot cancel it unless they really have like this legit reason. Uh, let's say it's raining really hard. I think it's, it's, really can't. it used it was raining hard here, but not now. So I am I back. I pass. can hear you guys again. Pass, pass. All right. Well. Good luck on your screen. stream. I'm gonna feed myself. Okay. Have, good food. Have some good food here. I'm trying to find like a good reference of Dark Runner that I can like I don't have to look at multiple times. Oh, this is good. They're the PNGs. Of course, I know Overlord has a gotcha game. Oh, they do. I think I don't know. So I see um. Albedo with different skins, and I saw card art. And I'm like, what is this? So far, I think it's a, think it's a gotcha game. Well, I'm using this sample artwork, but I'll use it later for anyway. So this one, and then the nicer artwork will be. This lady. Okay. Let's start with Nezuko-chan. Okay. Nezuko-chan! I don't want to draw her just like the same way she looks. So maybe I'll draw like this. Draw her big circle dot eyes. I will draw her holding her bamboo. Just a little bit. Oh, her ha bamboo needs to be smaller. I'm so sorry. Why your bamboo so big, please, the channel? Okay, there we go. Musical I. You know, I haven't caught up with Kimetsu. Is there a new? There's new one, right? Yes, I told you we do want yeah. to watch it, and you're like, nah. Yeah, I was like, exactly. I haven't caught up to it yet. It's a uh, short Smith Village arc, which I kind of forgot stuff about. I don't know. We can watch it another time. I just don't feel like catching up. To... I don't feel like watching it either. Yeah, but right. I know what's happening. I don't know. I do want to watch. I just not yet, but like. Like, I know there's also a lot of new Boku no Hero, and I haven't caught up to any of that either. <laughs> I I stopped at a certain chapter, so I know a lot of things happening. I think they're past that, but at the same time, eh, kind of don't want to catch up with it. Yeah, it's not yeah. as popular before, and I can understand why. It's okay. What do you mean it's not as popular before? Uh, people are... What people be, which one... People are watching or whatever. They kind of stopped reading at a certain point because they thought it was a bit weird. Now, why? Like, what happened? Uh, the story was a bit draggy, or oh, it's the end time. End time. This and that happened. So, I didn't know there was something like that. Yeah. How do I like my coffee? 
the coffee that I usually make, I've been doing this thing where I cold brew. I'll, I'll cold brew some and then I'll ice it. So I like to make kori coffee. So that it's, it's kind of strong in the sense that there's not... I don't use water anymore. I, I, I just have cold brew coffee, so that's the, the water, quote unquote. And then I put it on milk and I put a bit of sugar, so it's sweet. I do this because I take five ever to drink coffee. <laughs> and so doing it this way allows me to not live with two inches of water above my coffee while I'm drinking it. Personally, I found that it works best for me. Like, for real, for real. I love the- I love the- I'm sorry, I'm drawing it, so I find it really funny. I love the little moe gap of, like, we have a very tiny Nezuko, but she always has claws. <laughs> because she is a widow demon. You, you demon. Who's the best demon? You are. I actually forgot that Lovely Lurker really likes Nezuko, but I do remember her saying that before. And on the topic of Overlord, which is the other artwork, I think Season 3 is coming out this year, right? That My... took forever. It did, but like... I don't know, I, I of, of the Izekai, Probably, I think Overlord is one of my favorites. It's it's pretty silly, but like I like it. Like you know, <laughs> like it's my brand. I can enjoy it. Uh, I think I'm almost. Overlord done. took so long at getting a new season, but honestly, it's what people have been waiting for. And that's fine. Yeah, I think that's the thing. If it's worth it, people will wait. Yeah, like, I'll be honest, it's what kind of happened to Boku no Hero. Like, yeah, sure, you'll get a new season, but then the way they paced it is like, eh, people are kind of over it once the new season's rolled around. Yeah, I Just think like that, that, I guess. I guess, but like, I think the thing is that it's, it's also the downfall that uh, Boku no Hero is such a long-form thing, and like, the thing is, like, if the story is really continuous and, like, intense, you end up losing interest if it takes too long. But then, like, Overlord, I think the the appeal of it is not fully just, like, plot-based, so you can wait, you know? You can wait and you'll look forward to it. They're very different in pace. Mm-hmm. In pace and appeal. Despite the CGI, I think that the CGI is part of the the charm of it. Like the they, niche of, of charm of it. Yeah, like the thing is that the the way they use the CGI and Overlord. To be fair, it's not like cringy. You know, it's not like really annoying. Like they try to use it to replace animation. They use it for the things that are just like okay, no one really needs to see <laughs> like hand drawn army of skeletons. <laughs> We're good, we're good, we're good just getting the CGI bits of it. If you want to save time. And it's effort. worth it, yeah. It's worth the time and effort that has been saved, honestly, is the other thing. What I've been watching now, and I was telling Samsara about this, I don't know if you've been watching it, lo Lovely Lurker, but what I've been watching lately is actually also technically another isekai. It's the... I'm taming... I, I'm the villainess, so I'm taming the last boss. I've been watching that. It's cute. Like, I don't. I wouldn't say it's my type usually, to be honest, but it's cute. I honestly have not watched an isekai. Like, one of the newer ones, people say, oh, try it, this one, except Campfire cooking. Campfire cooking, majestic. <laughs> like, Campfire you don't really cooking. hear people talk about it. All you hear are the other ones with harems. <laughs> oh, I don't really watch the harem ones. Kinda a little offense to people who actually enjoy those, unironically. 
but unironically. <laughs> unironically, guys, come on. So people enjoy it and watch it because they're like, haha, it's funny. I can get behind that. I I think that like yeah I think that since the isekai genre is such a like staple and well known, I think the way to get hope to make sure that there's a hope is not is also to play into the ridiculousness of it. I think of the campfire cooking. Yeah. <laughs> and none of the overpowered MCs all the time. I was about to say I. Uh, I do enjoy a good overpowered, like specifically, I was about to say, I do enjoy a good overpowered MC if they can have the humor for it. Like Campfire Cookie, technically, overpowered MC, but his overpower is that he's such a good cook because he has a super mic, stuff like that. I do also enjoy though, like, now that we're, now that we are listening and I'm thinking about it, I actually do enjoy a few more isekai than I thought. Like, I always thought that I wasn't that into isekai, but... I have quite a few that I watch. One being um, Shield Hero. I do watch Shield Hero. That one's one of the more plotty ones that I'm okay investing in. But aside from that, I quite enjoy. Um, uh, I'm a spider, so what? I actually like that. Even it's also overpowered MC, but I like it because she's a spider. <laughs> like we're really just watching the spider. <laughs> Going through it. Huh? You watch a lot of isekai. Yeah, exactly. I do. I never. I think the thing is. Here's the thing. I don't really look for isekai, but there's a lot of isekai on Netflix, and when I exercise, I just watch isekai, because I don't. I don't need to watch it outside of when I'm like, you know, like I don't sit down to watch isekai. <laughs> I watch isekai when I'm like, let's say, when I was working. I would watch I'm a Spider So What while having lunch. Stuff like that. And then, yeah. Same thing ended up happening here. Okay, let's work on Milady now. Sli I haven't watched the slime one. I feel like that's one of the more mainstream ones that I never gave a shot. Although I know it's on Netflix, I'm always like, uh. <laughs> But, like, it's one of the more renowned ones, so part of me wants to give it a shot. Like, I do have standards in that I did try watching, a. Uh, what was the one that I watched that I really hated? I think it was Konosuba. I tried watching it because it's such a classic. Everyone's always like, oh, Konosuba's the best, and they're, they're, everyone's got waifus or whatever there. But I watch it, and it's just annoying. <laughs> it just annoys me. I'm sorry. Like, uh, so... To all the aqua enjoyers here in my stream, I'm sorry if I hate her. <laughs> like, I'm not saying you're trash, but your wife was trash. <laughs> if all of if your wife was aqua, you you there are better there are better goddesses out there. For real, for real. It doesn't even take much. <laughs> You don't have to... You don't need someone that much better just to get something better. Oh, I don't like this angle for her. Yeah, no, I don't like this. Uh, I want her to be... I want her to be front-facing. Because she's creepier that way. Look, I'm sorry. I mean, that's really just how I feel about Aqua. You can laugh. <laughs> I don't know. Have you, lovely lurker, have you actually watched? Have you tried watching Konosuba? I mean, wait, have you? Somehow, have you tried watching Konosuba? No. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't want to. I don't really watch such things. Yeah. Because I I tried looking into it. It's just just not my thing. Yeah, you can tell usually. You have a like more distinctive. I'm like usually more open compared to you in terms of genre. Like. I am very picky. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with trash if I if I can enjoy it, but like some things are just like. No. <laughs> 
this? Okay, so you haven't watched Bonusuba. You don't have to, it's not worth it. But like, um, from my experience, the thing about like, Kon I understand the appeal of Konosuba as a hum as like a comedy isekai, but oh, it's okay even if it takes a while to load responses. We 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 may take a while to talk, but we will still talk, right? Anyway, the thing about that isekai specifically, I'm like talking about Konosuba, is just that it's, I can understand the appeal of it, but I'm not into it personally. It's not my thing because, uh, how do I say this? The humor is in how, like their their humor specifically Konosuba. The humor is in how uh, ill-equipped they all are, <laughs> like that they're all useless and never get the job done. Which you know it gets annoying mostly actually. <laughs> yes, it's much more fun if you see a ragtag group that genuinely cares about each other, but then they're going through some weird hijinks. That's that's fun. And that's the opposite of Konosuba. I'm sorry. The moment I see somebody who is very incapable, like literally you don't have to even be the best, but if you're incapable, I will drop a series. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I like it's only now when I'm talking about it, like when I'm when I'm thinking about it. That's what's so annoying about it. Like everyone's just not no one feels cool. <laughs> like that, I guess that's why I would prefer an overpowered MC. Because at least they they're doing their job, you know. When you have an overpowered MC, fine. Just know how to do your actuals, your actual ability. Yeah, exactly. Yes, that's fine. Eminent Shadow. I have not. No. What is that? What, uh, uh, Samsara, can you look into it and tell me what it's about? <laughs> you are, I'm so sorry, I'm, well, no, you are my mod, but, like, I, you're also my guest, it's so not, it's kind of weird. <laughs> isn't that, oh, I thought it was a light novel. I, or, I don't know, I think I've seen it because some people posted about it, but it does have nice graphics. What is it about? What is it about? Actually, I'm not sure. It's uh, wait, sorry, I am playing, but I'm trying to just dig my brain. It's okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting you to help. I'm just curious, but I don't want to stop drawing to look it up. Oh, hold on. I have two hands, two eyes. The left and the right. Yeah. Have them softly, clean and bright. We will look out for what's this summary and summary and something. I have seen it. I have seen it. Wait, let me Google while I have one hand digging for stuff. Hmm, there's a girl there that kind of looks like I know she ran her. <laughs> same, same, same mood like long blonde hair, dark clothes, looks evil, but Renner is like small but this lady is just long hair like really long hair and elf ears wait let me read for as long as he can remember wait, this. for as long as he can remember Minoru Kagino has been fixated in becoming as strong as possible which has led him to undertake all kinds of rigorous training this wish, however, does not stem from a desire to be recognized by others. Rather, Minoru does everything he can do to blend in with the crowd. So while pretending to be a completely average student during the day, he arms himself with a crowbar and <laughs> what? And what? ruthlessly thrashes local biker gangs at night. Interesting. Yet, Minoru finds himself in a truck accident. Okay. Chakun. Chakun at it again. Seemingly come to a sudden halt, a sudden end. In his final moments, he laments his powerlessness. Uh, no matter how much he trained, there was nothing he could do to overcome his human limitation. It, it, everyone uh, dies to Chakun, friend. It's okay. <laughs> but instead of dying, he reawakens. Minoru reawakens the seed. 
the second child of the noble Kagino family in another world, one where magic is commonplace. With the power he so desired finally within his grasp, he dons the moniker Shadow and establishes Shadow Garden, a group whose sole purpose is to combat the enigmatic cult of Diablos, an organization born from Sid's imagination. However, a Shadow Garden grows in both membership and influence, it becomes increasingly apparent that the cult of Diablos is not as fictional as Sid had intended. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> a funny overpowered MC. But I also Getting it does seem like a truck phone is something else. But like they do seem to have it does seem to have quite the plot to it as well. But anyway, we'll see. I will give it a shot. Where did you watch where is it? Is it on in Netflix? I don't I don't think I saw it on the Netflix, so I guess I'll have to look around and see where I can watch it. Okay. Wait, what time did I start? I've never actually 19, I think. heard about it, yeah, but I did see minutes. it around. Interesting. I haven't seen it anywhere. I think this is the first I've actually heard of it. But maybe if I see a picture, let me Google it. It is very familiar. Yeah. M Eminence in sh Eminence Shadow. Oh, it looks very. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of generic. Cause <laughs> like I, I wouldn't recognize it unless like I knew about it. That's something. But anyway, we will just keep drawing this lady. I like her eyes though, like, now that I'm trying to draw it, like I was trying to get- I, I couldn't seem to get it right, and the shape of it is very- like, it's droopy, but it's also messed up. <laughs> like, interesting design. Meanwhile, yeah, the current one that I'm watching, which is about- Wait, I haven't actually told you- Wait, I, I mean, like, you probably know, though. Like, do you know the plot of- I'm a villain- I uh, know, I'm the villainess, so I'm taming the last boss. Oh, me? Yeah. Me? That you were asking our lovely lurker. The lovely lurker I'm also talking to, like- like, I, I speak to both of you, as if you're both here, even though Lovely Lurker is only in chat. <laughs> but, like, supposedly you are my two guests tonight, since you are my two patrons. Thank you for, for giving me money, because I'm unemployed. Um. <laughs> but, yeah. Do either of you know about, like, the plot of I'm the Villainous, so I'm taming the last boss? I mean, I'm watching it, so I know. I'm just asking if you do. I had to check how her bangs fall for a second. So she doesn't really have that kind of, like, visible hair part. You know, I'm drawing her like this right now, and she looks like Alice. <laughs> Kind of funny. Bring it like that. There we go. She looks like Alice. Oh no. Mask is funny. We do agree that Alice, at least little girl. Kind of sus. 
I was like, which Alice are you talking about? There's no way Alice is. Yeah, but like uh, from how she looks here, I mean, I think it's more obvious which Alice. But yeah, she looks like our. Wait, what's her last name again? I, I forgot. Alice. Uh... The Ross. The Ross, thank you. Like, <laughs> I'm like Alice. blanks on the name. I almost said, I oh, know. I was almost like grasping for Joseph's last name. I was like, oh shit, no. This whole name. Because it's both D. <laughs> Christ. And French. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway. But, uh, I'm just, because we ended up talking about Isekai, I just end up thinking, like, uh, about those plots. The novel plot. or manga is so much better. Which side. one? Uh, Eminence of Shadow. There are a lot of anime adapted, I mean, novels adapted into anime these days, which is good. Yeah, actually. I mean, look at 86. I was, I was, yeah, I was about to say, it. the light novel age, you know. I think the thing is that because manga is already quite a visual, visual experience, so a lot of people are much harsher comparing the manga to a light novel. But like, light novels, I think. I'm not saying they get past, but I think that people are more open to change a difference in interpretation and execution as compared to... Not having, say, the exact same art as in the manga. <laughs> but that's the thing, right? Some light novels really have official art already. Yeah, but they, they but they have... And in anime, you're like, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, like, the thing is, that's the difference. Because if it's a light novel, they only have splash art for certain scenes. There's a lot less to criticize. At least by comparison. Sometimes they, they have like different vision when it comes to the animation. Yeah. Actually, I don't think I'm. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I haven't heard a studio that adapted the light novel and just bombed it. Or maybe it's another genre I'm not aware of. Yeah, and like we don't. I don't know. I feel like there. Even though it's happening a lot more, it's not like it's the it's the common thing. So there's still a lot of things that we're watching that aren't light novels you know it's still mostly manga that are turned into anime or original anime Espe especially since i think the most common light novel to anime translation is still an isekai <laughs> like it's usually an isekai so and since you don't watch much of that it's kind of harder to tell I just think if it's like novels, they might have a lot of material. Like, imagine a light novel. It's a light novel for a reason. You get it from books. A personified so, truck. <laughs> a lovely lurker said. Truck. Yeah. Everybody will rejoice for truck too. Lovely lurker. If the next time, I mean, like you get a free drawing every month, so you can ask me to draw ridiculous, like increasingly ridiculous shit every month, and I will draw it because you're paying me. <laughs> you know, this is why you have to get paid to shit post. Yeah, like I'll do it. The dream is to get paid to shit post about Alva. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? Uh, lovely lurker, would you like me to tell you about Uncle Ren? <laughs> would you like to be told about this one man, this one person is particularly obsessing over? Yeah, would you like to know about Mr. Lorenz? Actually, wait, have I not told Lovely Lurker about Alvaro Lorenz yet? I feel like I don't think you have. I, d I have not. Lovely Lurker, have I not told you about Alvaro Lorenz? I should if I have. It's Alvaro Lorenz clenched fist. Clenched fist. That's how you say it all the time. Like yeah. Hated. I hate him. I hate that man. It's everything that I like to write about. <laughs> so many things that I like to draw. Frustrating. He was made for you, for real, for real. For Just real, like for real. 
just like me. The man is me for real, for real. Gay and sad. <laughs> for real, for real. Betrayed. Betrayed. Cult leader. Science nerd. Okay, yeah, I haven't told him yet. I'm so sorry. Okay, I will, I will... You didn't ask for this, but I'll, I guess I'll tell you about it. <laughs> this is a free TED talk, I guess. Not really. Actually, I mean, I say TED talk, but there's not that much to say. Just that I do like a lot of things about him. Uh, Alva Lorenz is the... I was about to say the most recent hunter, but he's not. He's like, <laughs> he's been out for a while now, but he's one of the hunters in IDV. And it's just like really funny because when he came out, like many friends who play IDV with me were just like, it, it, it for you because it just like hits a lot of my favorite um, narrative tropes and all that. And basically, what he is is this um, if you look him up, you'll see him. He looks really cool. Um, his story is that he was an inventor, like a science dude, right? Um, who was basically chasing after the, oh, the all, always, you know, sought after perpetual motion engine. Oh, I find that very fascinating that people were really just obsessed with overcoming entropy for a while. <laughs> they were like, but maybe, <laughs> maybe we can, <laughs> even though that's a law of physics. But anyway, um, so he was like really into the idea of creating a perpetual motion engine. Alva Lorenz. Let me type it in the chat room. Alva. Alva Lorenz. Alva Lorenz. Uh, also known as the Hermit in IDV. Because, like, what he is... Yeah, he is a scientist looking, after, looking for that. He was, at least. He was a scientist <laughs> who was seeking the perpetual motion engine. But, uh, he was, um... He basically had a friend, like he had a good friend who was also a science boy and they both were really into the idea of this perpetual motion engine but his friend basically went to the dark side and went a bit too far in, in, in like trying to get this thing to happen like you know, you know how it is, scientists they get a bit obsessed sometimes and his sometimes. yeah for real, just, just sometimes you know maybe and his friend really went like balls to the wall, <laughs> puts family in debt, uh, everything, just like trying to invent this perpetual motion engine until his friend died. You know, his friend died in an accident trying to create the perpetual motion engine. And he was just like, okay, maybe, maybe it's best that I don't keep trying to make this thing because I lost my friend to it, my, my good friend, Herman. His name was Herman. Herman died trying to make this machine, so maybe I'm gonna give up on it because maybe it's just not worth it. And then many, many years pass, and his friend's son goes to see him, not knowing that they work together. Like, and the son is also obsessed with creating the perpetual motion engine, and he's just like, I really shouldn't. <laughs> I really shouldn't be entertaining these delusions anymore, but like, you know, this this old man clowning, he, he's like, but like, he reminds me of my friend, and he's so promising, he's so, he's such a smart kid, so he does help him in the end. But the son, this, uh, the son's name is Luca. Luca basically, like, he finds the old manuscripts of his father and thinks that Alva betrayed him and tried to steal his designs like he's just a fraud all of your all of your renown as a scientist was based off stealing my father's shit you're just a faker i hate you all that stuff anyway there was a big confrontation and luca ends up killing alva by accident maybe people aren't sure thing maybe. about idv is that the lord all you get about lord is like secondhand accounts and like unreliable witnesses and found footage or found diary entry stuff like that so no one knows but that's the vibe you get so, oh my god what was that sound anyway so <laughs> freaks out so what happened to alva <laughs> so maybe the story is longer than i thought now that i'm like recounting it so alva dies 
He straight up dies. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like delusional. I, it, I'm not. This, yeah. It, this is. It, he does die in the story. This is a, like this actually happened. I'm not saying that like uh, he imagined it or like his backstory is his death because <laughs> basically he gets brought back to life by. A hello. cat god? Oh, hello. Hello. Cat god. Like how do we come back and came like is it your name? Arcane like cat god. Would you like to hear about Alba starts from the beginning? <laughs> <laughs> I mean like because I was mid storytelling, but like oh. No, 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 don't no, be sorry. No, I just mean sorry. to say I'm mid storytelling, but now that I'm in the middle of it, would you like to hear about what the hell we're talking about? Because, <laughs> like, I don't mind. But wait, why are you back? I thought you said you were gonna go already. Oh, they, no, they had dinner. dinner. Oh, they, they it just dinner. Themselves. Nah, are okay. You banishing me to the shadow realm? No, stay! Stay. stay to my TED talk. <laughs> my obsession. Would you like to hear about it? Because if not, I'll just keep take off from where I left off, but and like so that you don't have to bear with too much of <laughs> this storytelling. <laughs> would you like to start over again? No, I'm asking. I'm asking Lumi. Would you like me to start over again? It's okay, I will listen. I like listening to the sound of your voice. Yeah, but like, the, you just have the option to what, what it's saying. <laughs> I will... Um... It's fine. I'll just like, follow along to whatever. Okay, I'm so... Or there's like a continuity for your stream. Okay, so yeah. What was the last thing I said? Oh yeah, so he died. Cat god. Yeah, he died and he was basically revived by a cat god. According to his lore video, it said that the cat god- I mean, like, no, not sorry. According to his deductions, like, um, because in the game, you unlock more story by accomplishing stuff using the characters. And according to his deductions, the cat god seemed to say that, like, they need his talents or his abilities or something. We don't know what his abilities are. Maybe because he's smart. And we don't know what the cat god wants to do with him, but basically he brings him back to life and now he is the cult leader <laughs> of this cat cult. And uh, what do they call it again? The I Eye of Darkness, evil. right? No. I, evil to look. I'm sorry. I think it's the Eye of Darkness, but yeah. So the Eye of Darkness is the Eye name. Of the Eye of Sauron. The Eye of Sauron, because it looks like the Eye of Sauron. No, no, this is it does look like it. No, it does look like it. His ability. One of his abilities looks like the Eye of Sauron. But yeah, the cult of the Eye of Darkness. He becomes the cult leader of this thing. So I'm just like, you know, like, looking at this list of things that this man has under his belt. He's like, he, he hella gay. Like, you feel, <laughs> you know? It's like, man, you, you, you homo for your bro. And like, and he has the scientist thing going. He's got some implied betrayal in there, but like, it's all like, it's got some unreliable narrator in there, and and he's and he's got both the science and the religion thing going. Oh hell! I'm just like oh no, I love him. <laughs> it's all my jams. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. Actually, Angie, at the fact that somebody cried into Ark's brain and just scooped it up. Yeah, I really feel like, like it, it feels kind of like NetEase, the ones who made IDV, just like looked into my brain and was like, okay, what kind of stuff do you like writing about? And, uh, and then they just like, oh, I see. And they picked up a bunch of stuff, jumbled it together, and shout out Alva. Like, <laughs> I can <lay. laughs> well, It's really down to the design. Yeah, actually, yeah, okay, yeah, meant to be definitely. But also the design. There's one specific thing that I can't get over that I really love about his design, which is that he is like covered in Lichtenberg scars, which is something I always wanted to like try drawing or play around with because I learned about them listening to the Magnus Archives, uh, the podcast, the horror podcast. I, I think I've seen them elsewhere, but I learned what they're called in that podcast. And I was like, oh, that's that's really cool. That's like very fascinating. Fractal 
fractal scar, fractal burn scars that people get when they're hit by lightning. And I'm like, that's that's very interesting. And Alva has them, and he's he's also white hair, and he's got gold cat eyes. I'm just like, damn, son. <laughs> How much more? Did you ask me? Spots, I see. Yes, it was like frustrating. Anyway, okay, I have finished drawing this girl. I think that this is about yeah, that was about thirty minutes just right. Yay! I this will really keep cute. watching your stream, but I will change video calls. Yeah, sure. My um, the dog is a uh... demanding attention. Yes. Okay. Get <laughs> his ass here. Yeah, he oh, can brother. join. No, he's doing this thing where he wants to stream Gundam ah. with I know. I I am obligatory there for moral support. Okay, uh, no problem. And make fun of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, have a uh, valid. Have a good party. day. Yeah, it's all good. Have fun. I also watch, and I'll just like be active in the chat, like your, like your lurker. Yes, my lovely lurker. Yeah. Going for it. Anyway. Okay. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Bye bye, Lonely. Bye bye. Soon. Oh, yeah. I'll talk to you guys about what to do on my birthday when I figure it out. I just haven't figured it out yet. But yeah. Anyway, bye bye. Oh, sacrifice. No. Uh, uh, Human sacrifice. <laughs> 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 It's like silence. Eh? <laughs> the, next, the next tier of your like of your Patreon is is human sacrifice. <laughs> oh, specific tier. All demons welcome. All uh, demons welcome. Do you have him as a character? In what? in her heart, in his in her. Brain. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, in my mind, Alva Lorenz is already mine. <laughs> Bye, Yumi. Bye, bye, Mini. In terms of IDV, I do have him, and I have used him a few times, but I'm not very good at using him. But I have him, so there's that. <laughs> Otherwise, I just like, yeah, I don't. I have not used him yet. If you're talking about like RP and stuff, no, not yet. <laughs> but. Very likely someday. <laughs> I already have a concept. I'm just not uh, I like it's only partially filled out. So I'm not I'm just just pretend you don't know it's me. <laughs> I guess. You don't even have to pretend hard. Just like just for a first few days so that I can like uh uninterruptedly set him up and like get into character. And then once I, I feel settled in character then you can just like talk to me in DM and <laughs> we can dick around. Anyway, I will give everyone these arts later. For now, I will continue the stream for another, maybe just another 20 minutes, and I'm just gonna be working on my art prints. So I'm, um, my thumbnail lies. I was gonna work on Binary Star, but like, a lot of stuff came up, and I wasn't able to work on Binary Star. I don't have time to work on Binary Star. I have something else that I need to do, so I'll end up working it. Yes! Hello, dog. There, I am here in the stream. We are both streaming. We both have streams. And I mean, like, I'm only going to be here for a little while. Uh... Right. Creepy runner than the other. Yes, cat. Yeah, it was like one of the creepy in the room, then we have Nate. The hunter surrendered! <laughs> you were just such a nuisance. Understandable. Oh, no, I wasn't. I didn't even see the hunter at all. So funny. Don't know if I believe you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, I, it was, it was Joseph. I was oh, that's prisoner. Fair. I was decoding everything. Sort of. And there was a doctor in the team. Well, anyway. okay, to be fair, if there was a Joseph, then you were being a nuisance because when whatever you do to Joseph, you're just bullying an old man. <laughs> Jake said, Senpai, notice me. I did! I said, yes! Yeah. I said, hello! I said, yes, I am having a stream while you're having a stream. What do you want me to say? <laughs> um, I got, 
Uh, we have been duped. It's not binary star. It is. I'm star. sorry. It's only okay. You know what? I could work a bit on binary star, but like I want. Honestly, I think you have been working on Sunny for quite a while. Time for a break. Do binary star. Yeah, but the thing is, Sonny, I have to finish him by tomorrow. <laughs> Subs. But I guess I can do it after the stream. I guess. Yeah. Yes! Shibari! All of my blush con prints will be Shibari. The, I'm just like... Just let me... Okay, fine. I will stop working on Sonny as soon as I finish, like... Finalizing how his figure is supposed to look. Because... Cause I'm doing all this and I'm like, I don't know what you're supposed to look like. Cause uh, I drew it before, like this is already the, the how many draft as you can see and I'm like, I was not happy with the proportions so I changed it like 20 times. Well not really, just like 3 times. But it's very difficult to change sketch so many times, okay? Like, anyway. So I ended up like somewhat rendering his form so that I could get an idea of how I wanted it to look. So I will I will switch to working on binary star as soon as I'm happy with the silhouette, which will I will be soon. It's just the shoulder. The shoulder looks not right to me. Anatomy heart. Anatomy heart. And and, and it's not even just the actually actually the, I'm not that upset with the anatomy that I have here. It's just that it's not a very good composition, you know? So I keep adjusting. I have to adjust the composition, and because of that, I have to adjust the anatomy. But based on how that looks once it's shaded, I might have to adjust it again. So it's a lot of back and forth thing that I'm not like completely sold on. And that's what sucks. Senpai noticed my chat. Oh my god. Would you like me to like give you a shout out? Don't go go give me money and I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a sellout. No, no, it's a um, job. Jay, give her money to post shit post and draw your waifus. Yeah. Honestly, give me if you give me money monthly, I will draw your wife every month. Every month. Isn't that nice? I can draw your wife who giving you a back massage or something. I don't know. It's a, it, it's customizable fan service every month. Like it, ain't that a deal? I'm just saying. Okay, I guess this kind of looks a lot better. Yeah. I don't know. I want I want more definition in the hips over here. So maybe something like that. And then, no, too much. Like that, yeah. Well, this is gonna be... They're gonna be closed over this anyway, so... Okay. Once I draw the pose, it'll probably look something like this. But like... The highlights will still be the same. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I will draw binary star soon. I think that I'm getting more or less settled into this. And it's kind of boring. Like, I don't think people want to see me working on line art too long. But like that's what I'm gonna do with binary star too, so maybe anyway. Actually, let's uh, go work on binary star instead. What was the binary star? Wait, oh shoot! Let me open the file elsewhere and uh, cause I know I did multiple sketches for binary star as well while I was deciding on what to do so let's open it in this one I will switch windows eh I'm going to work on it in Photoshop first because 
One thing that is a bit uh, worrying with Binary Star is that I'm going to do Binary Star with gold foil. So with the gold foil in it, I asked and they said that most of your design, like most of the gold might come off if it's anything under 15 pixels. So what I need to do now is decide with using a perfectly still 15 pixel diameter brush I'm going to make sure that it looks right okay this is a can I make okay yeah it's good no no scattering oh, 15 pixels is kind of thick isn't it oh well no it's okay I guess because anything under 15 pixels, they said, it might just... Oh, wait. No... That's gay. <laughs> no shape dynamics. It's very... I mean, like, it's for blush cons, so of course it's gay. Oh, 15 pixels very thick. Hmm. Gold foil, though. Pay premium for that. Yeah, it will be. Like, for real, for real, premium print. I'm gonna push it and like say that I'm gonna try for 12 maybe because 15 pixels is too thick for a lot of the stuff I want to try to do yeah even 12 pixels is pretty thick to be honest wait what did they say about the gold file again it'll come off because of the style no because it's too thin like I, I ah. asked them like like you know it might not be correct uh let me let me look for my chat with them and double check how how thick i they they confirmed it's best to be oh wait it, I, I have no i have no chat with them i emailed them well uh, right because <laughs> they weren't replying to because the, the, i'm tabling with saint tears right and the, they were the ones asking me because they're the ones who plan to do uh, a gold foil thingy So, they were asking me to email them instead since they weren't okay with it. They said they might have to add one or two pixels to all of the stuff that I had. Well, looking at this, some of this is not that. Yeah, maybe 10 pixels is still okay. It doesn't look that bad. I will stick to 10 pixels for most of my work and then we'll see if I can work it in otherwise. Yay. I like these though. Oh, okay, I think I have to draw them now before I do the gold foiling, but now that I have an idea of how thick these have to be, I will adjust accordingly. Ah! Sorry, my brush went kablooey. This seems a bit thick, even for... Because, okay... The actual size will be around like this. And I've seen them do thinner. Oh, yeah. I think six is the thinnest that they can go. So six pixels. I'll make a note. Six pixels thinnest. I guess it's also for the things that are like this size. I'll make a bunch of plus signs like this. Because I, I do want to do little stars that shimmer. I You know, there they also have other... This place, the, the place that's printing is called The Exact Print. The Exact. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's spelled like The Exact. And they have so many foil options, honestly. It's really cool. I am like considering maybe making other stuff with them down the line. But for now, I just want to do gold foil. <laughs> 
Because it's cool. Anyway. Let's bring it back. Dark. And now let's uh, sketch everything. Is this uh, yeah. Sketch. This uh, thing that I'm drawing is also from IDV. <laughs> It's based on a, an event skin called Binary Star, which is really cool. Anyway, I will only sketch for a few minutes because... I do plan to just like... This was just mostly a Patreon catch-up stream. And I've done all of my Patreon and stuff now, but like... I don't want my stream to just like be... A few minutes of me giving- I'm here to also entertain with my drawing skills. <laughs> Quote unquote. Why are you drawing? Uh, the screen is on Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. I gotta move it. I gotta move it because I wanted to open the other one. Here. Yeah. I haven't really done anything yet. I, I was just moving layers. <laughs> Sometimes drawing is just you moving a bunch of layers for like 15 minutes And that was me just now The binary star has me so obsessed I will also give everybody like this is This may be an art stream, but I'm talking IDV lore instead, but that's fine <laughs> But the binary star in IDV was the, the S rank skin for the hunter called Wu Chang. And I'm just kind of obsessed with the lore that seems to be implied here. And it's very interesting. Implied. Impl it's all implied because we have no idea. <laughs> we have no idea what, what his deal is, okay? We just know that this man right here, Arrow. <laughs> This man right here seems to have lured a group of unwitting people into quote unquote filming a movie. And like in the movie, they go to this planet and they're going to like do this big, it's a big horror plot and they're going to go see this eldritch monster or something. But it's all true. And he's trying to sacrifice them so that he can be with this, whoever this is. We don't know what he's called, but <laughs> actually we don't know what what um, this guy's called either, either way. We don't know what they're called by name, but the point is, we just call this Bian, because that's the hunter's name, and this is Wuju. But like, from what's implied, it seems to be that Bian is here to sacrifice lives so that he can bring Wuju either, either to life? Or to free him? Uh, we don't know. We don't know anything. We just know that there is a clip in the trailer. Or, no, sorry, not in the trailer. In the official music video thing that they have where he goes like, Sacrifice for my star. So of course we know that Wuju's the star. We don't know why they're sacrificing what they're doing to sacrifice for him. But yeah, but it's gay and we're happy. <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> We don't need much. We just need gay. Oh, this is what they look like, right? I'm trying. I need to look at this to see. Mm, I don't want to draw their full costume. I I honestly just want to focus on, like the well, gold. Well, just draw and them stuff. naked. It always works. Yeah, that's what I'm tempted to do. Like I'm genuinely tempted to just draw them naked. I mean, I guess it's fine for this because the the reference is so artistic. I think it's okay. Like, I'm gonna be making... Uh, it should be fine, right? Yeah. Human sacrifice! All we need! Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's for reference, that video. Yes. Human sacrifice. <laughs> sacrifice. Literally, the song goes, sacrifice, sacrifice. <laughs> and we love it. We're all here for it. We're all, we're all happy for the sacrifice. Actually, the have won. You know what? I should probably be doing a, 
a map of the shading instead of like doing the line art so quickly. Maybe. Does that reduce nose? Yes. Nose. <laughs> nose. <Ooh>. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop red. <laughs> I will erase this because it's getting. This is a bit hard. Okay, this is a bit complex. The BF is horrified but not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to IDV. Listen, IDV is is a jam. IDV's got it's got human sacrifice. It's got cultists. It's got science. Science. It's got science. It's got human experimentation. <laughs> It's got people melting into liquid. <laughs> I still don't know what the that's about. The darkness of human psyche. Yeah, the darkness of human psyche. We got delusions. We've got disassociative identity disorder. We've got murder. We've got people obsessed with dead bodies. <laughs> human sacrifice isn't very say so. Do I look say so? Do I look say so? Your Oshis will sacrifice you. That's true. In a heartbeat. That's true. Listen, if you think that your Oshis will, like, love you unconditionally, you're delusional. <laughs> Parasocial! That's what they want. They will sacrifice you. Exactly. They're, that's Some what they're here for. Star. <laughs> they're here precisely for that parasocial behavior. Make you want to obsess over them so that they can milk you for money. Because they work on people. That's how that's how any entertainer works. I'm thankfully I'm not real. I mean, like I'm here to entertain you right now, but I'm not an entertainer, so I don't mind. But I'm not say so. So I'm just saying. I'm an artist. We're we're not really the only humans that we sacrifice is ourselves. <laughs> and their brain cells. Yeah, all of our brain cells. We just sacrifice it. We submit it to the overlords. We pray for inspiration and then die. I'm just trying to get a good idea of how this looks because I'm going to be making the background like this galaxy thing going on. But I don't know if it'll work. But we gotta we gotta see how that works shading wise. Something like this. But anyway. Okay, so I do know that I want more or less, I want the at least this binary star to oh, to be still mostly white. I want his figure to stand out a lot, so we gotta do that. I came here to have fun, not over. Listen. Oh no. My brand is overthinking, so you're in the wrong stream, boy. <laughs> I don't think I am capable of having fun without a little overthinking because that's just how I am. I mean, people like me, that's why people like me relax with puzzle games. We have an outlet for overthinking. <laughs> Our overthinking. Jake, I have a super random proposal. Proposal. Play Star Rail so you can get Kafka. Oh yeah. <laughs> another another thing to overthink about. Play Star Rail, but we are not sure if I don't know. I don't know who, which people like uh, turn based. And random fact: if you're the female MC, they have the same VA BA as two B. Oh really? They do. Yes, they do. And Lucia from. PG or I don't know. That's a random fact for you. I yeah, I didn't know that actually. <laughs> and no, also no, Saber. <laughs> wow, so she's just like female pro tag voice, huh? Like for real, for real. Yes. Because they have the what's this? Nonchalant. Oh she's also Violet Evergarden. Oh that makes sense. Now that you say it, it's like, oh yeah, I hear it. Okay, I will, I will shade this now, so that I have an idea of what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I'm like, oh god. 
after having shaded sunny and I, I feel like i do have a better idea of how i'm supposed to draw that so i should probably draw that for this as well hmm Or maybe I should do inverse line like that. Hmm. A lot of thinking. I know you're not here for overthinking, but you're getting it anyway. Yeah, I think it's best if I do lighting like this, where it's like the lights coming off from inside. It's still sexy. <laughs> Hopefully, people will still find it sexy. And lower the opacity of the sketch, right? So that I can see it better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too many gotchas, not enough time. Ain't that true? Just like in general, ain't that true? There's never enough time for all the gacha games. Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to... I'm pretty sure that's like part of the conspiracy theory here, but they're here to eat your time as well. Give me a second, someone has walked into the room. It was my mom. She just like asking some stuff. But like, anyway. I return. Oh, what was I saying? I genuinely don't know what I was saying. Oh, right, gotcha. Right, my conspiracy theory with gotchas. I'm pretty sure they're really making sure to milk you of your time. Because if they milk you of your time, you'll get really stressed and want to just play gacha games to de-stress. And, you know, it's a loop. That's how it works. That's how they get you. You know. I'm just saying. The most lucrative thing for them is if you just keep wanting to play. And you know what? The best way to make you keep wanting to play? If they stress you out. <laughs> I too have mostly dolphined. I, my whaling is maybe getting a little bit of extra, but not a lot. Like say BP is a little bit closer to whaling than it is for dolphining, I think. But even then, it's, it's still just dolphin. But I have whaled a bit on say, yeah, for koa. <laughs> When I bought a lot of extra stuff. And I don't think I've ever whaled in a Hoyoverse game though. But that's because I can farm. And I have the patience to farm. You know, okay. I wish I could get mad at you for not controlling yourself. But it's because you can't control yourself that you gave me money, so... <laughs> I can't be mad at that either. I have to thank your lack of self-control for the money you gave me. I will tell her that you said hi. But she's gone now, so... 
I can't tell her anything right now. <laughs> Something like this. So, mm -hmm. yeah, something here. You know, I should just censor this somehow with gold. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to draw a crotch. But I don't want to erase it too because it looks really nice. So, I guess I'll just censor it with like gold pouring down or whatever. Ah, no! <laughs> it looks so nice. Anyway, I will end the stream soon. I will just finish, I think, this sketch of the base ended up taking a bit longer and like, also, it's not, I don't know, tonight I didn't plan to have a long stream because I have so much to do. I could do it on stream but like, I feel like I'll also, I'm also better off just like, quote unquote, focusing while like, watching something or whatever. That's my process, for anyone who doesn't know. I like to watch or listen to podcasts while working. And I can't do that if I'm on stream because I want to talk to you guys. And, and also, I will just like end up going silent for long periods after a while. <laughs> Which is technically why in the patreon thingy i did say that part of the prize is that you get to talk to me while i draw your thing because that's it's nice it makes it helps me focus to do that but like if i do it the whole time i won't be able to focus this looks really cool though i'm sorry i'm just talking about like the composition. I like how it looks this way, so I guess I will stick to this kind of lighting. It comes out quite nicely. But first, uh, okay, I need to be a bit dark because I will be drawing. Wuju is going to be pretty much just black blackness here. So he got it. I'm gonna draw his face. He is the void. He is the void. He is a void cat. He is essentially a void cat. And like, I like him that way. <laughs> He's so cute. Like as I said, I took a. I have his reference right here, and look at him. He's just. Look at him. He got no face. <laughs> he is just stars and space, and that's great. We like him as he is. Now, the reason that I was saying that I would try doing Binary Star another day instead of doing it right here, right now, is because the Binary Star, like, um, uh, St. Tears is gonna be printing them on Friday. But, like, I gotta finish the Sunny print tomorrow. So I don't want to work on this too long. Not for now. But I do need to work on it, so this is still a very much welcome amount of productivity, you know? <laughs> you know, I guess in a way that is the, the thing I'm going for in the sense that since Wuju is gonna be um, galaxy patterned, he is kind of invisible against the galaxy pattern background. <laughs> So it's just all invisible, but you know what, we're into it, because it looks really cool. I'm just gonna draw him like this, 
Here's the thing that's concerning about drawing Wuju like this, to be honest. He has this silver thing here, so I gotta draw that. But it's also kind of hollow, but also kind of not. So it's gonna look like this, I guess. You know, maybe I can make it gold, even though it's like supposed to be silver in the canon design. It looks more interesting if it's the gold. We'll see. For now, for now it's just that anyway. I don't think I'll be shading him that much. I, if I do, it's mostly an outline like this. So I guess it's fine like that. Oh. See, I will I will be posting this artwork on my page when it's done. But that's when it's done, which isn't anytime soon. Because I gotta finish something first. Well, I say not anytime soon, but I will have it done by Friday, so maybe it is soon for everybody else. It just feels very close to me because I gotta finish this before Friday. Yeah, I'll just draw it like that. It might be more interesting then if the the white patches of galaxy are very near. Like here. Yeah. This would look much cooler like that. But there will be black tentacles as well. <laughs> There's a lot going on. They have very uh, busy design. But that's the appeal of it. And why I consider this a very, very ambitious piece, but I'm, I'm still trying anyway. Because, I don't know. Sometimes an artist just has to be ambitious. Sometimes. I don't know if this is one of those times, but that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's good. Mm-hmm. That's, that's gay. Hmm? That's very gay. Thank you. It is. <laughs> That's very gay. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, if that's the intention, you know, then if it looks gay, maybe it is gay. That's just all it means. I could, I would like it. Knuckles are so nice to draw if I can draw them properly. Yeah, that looks good. Like that. And then with a bit of shadow like this. Because the white should be... The light's coming from here, the shadow is that way, so... It will look like that. Yeah. How nice. Okay. I think I'll be stopping here because, like, I do want to get to work on this off stream as well since it's a, a lot to work on. Thank you to everybody for stopping by. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, the Patreon is linked in the description of this stream. 
And if anyone wants free drawings and to maybe just chat and hang out as well, like I did with my guests, uh, Sam, Sarah, Lumi, and Lovely Lurker, you know, then yeah, donate for uh, monthly. You can get, like, I, you can join the Discord that this is being hosted in for any, for as low as, like, a dollar. <laughs> every month like just give me a dollar every month and, I, and you can join the discord and sometimes i go on very rarely do i go on outside of the time that i do streams but sometimes i will and you can always contact me there that way but otherwise um if you want to just like get a free art every month yes for 30 dollars and above i will draw you for you every month on stream and you can talk to me Thank you. Bye-bye.